Uh, welcome to a new video and in this video we want to do a camera comparison between the Huawei Mate 50 Pro against the Vivo X90 Pro Plus. So let's get started. It's a bit of a gloomy day, nevertheless I want to check out those two bad boys here and we have a 50 megapixel main sensor on both though the Vivo has a 1 inch type sensor which is very very large in comparison to the 1 over 1.5 inch type sensor of the Mate 50 Pro. Then we have a 64 megapixel periscope 3.5 times zoom lens on both then we also have a 2 times a zoom lens 50 megapixel on the Vivo X90 Pro Plus and the Vivo also has a 48 megapixel ultra wide angle. The ultra wide angle on the, the Mate 50 Pro is 13 megapixels and yeah this is basically it. It just has a light sensor there so nothing else. Let's check the front. We have a 13 megapixel um, yeah, front-facing camera on the Mate 50 Pro and a 16 megapixel front-facing camera on the Vivo X90 Pro Plus. I think we start off with the front video. This is now the front-facing video of the Huawei Mate 50 Pro and the Huawei Mate 50 Pro has a 13 megapixel front-facing video though it can also shoot 4K 30 that I'm using here right now and we have different magnification options. I'm at 0.8 times right now but if I want to have a bit of a wider field of view I can go to the wide angle and here you can see a little bit of like the water getting a bit up, rising a bit up, high water uh, here on the Rhine in Cologne and I can also go to the one times which looks like this so very cool feature especially if you want to vlog I like the 0.8 times a lot because this is the perfect distance for vlogging I would say and as the quality 4k 30 is so good HDR as you can see here a little bit of sun eventually there in the background is also pretty okay and yeah Mate 50 Pro wonderful vlogging front-facing camera what do you think about this one? And here we have now the Vivo X90 Pro Plus a front facing camera as you can see here from the quality directly it's only 1080p. You can go up to 1080p 60 frames per second but I'm using a 30 timeline so only 30 frames per second here. The HDR I think in the background is also good. We don't really have a zoom so zoom out is not possible but I can zoom in a little bit so yeah, if you need to do such a zoom shot, <laughs> I'm not sure if this is good or not. Anyway, it seems to be having autofocus or something. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't think it has autofocus, but at least I have probably the right amount of uh, space between me and the camera. So it is nice and sharp. What do you think about the front facing uh, video here on the Vivo X90 Pro Plus? I'm recording with the Mate 50 Pro's main camera lens, the 50 megapixel RYYB sensor that they have here with a variable aperture as well. I think it is using f2 right now but you can in darker conditions, it is a gloomy day right now but if it gets even darker it can open up to f1.4. It's doing this automatically in video mode and it can also close down depending on the situation. And yeah this is the Mate 50 Pro's main camera lens. What do you think about this one here? And 4K 30 up to 4K 60 I can record with it so no 8K recording possible but I can switch between all camera lenses so I can switch now to the ultra wide angle that is utilizing the same 4K 30 and this is now the ultra wide angle. What do you think about this one? Has autofocus, can be utilized for macro shots as well. What do you think about this one here? And then we want to do some zoom shots so let's take a look at the zoom. It's a bit of windy nevertheless. Let's try out a zoom shot here. Let's go quickly here up to switch lenses 10 times now and we can go up to 15 times zoom maximum. It's very stable I would say even in this windy condition and uh, this is how it will look like at 10 times roughly and uh, yeah you can see nice and sharp good quality. 
So now I'm using the Vivo X90 Pro Plus and it's one inch type sensor and this gives this nice creamy bokeh and even in this dim lit situation I think I should appear a little bit brighter. It should have a little bit less contrast as the Mate 50 Pro as well because this is the style that Vivo applies to their footage and uh, yeah I also have the possibility to, rec to record 4K 30, 4K 60 but also 8K though they're not stabilized. But what I can also do is of course switch to the ultra wide angle during recording so now i'm using the ultra wide angle this is now the ultra wide angle this can be also used and utilized so utilized also for macro shots has autofocus as well which is pretty pretty nice indeed and of course i also have the ability to zoom in so let's try to zoom in uh, same shot and let's quickly zoom in here and this is one time two times switch lenses three and a half times i think it should should have switched lenses now and let's go up to the maximum which is 10 times and this is how it looks like at 10 times i'm not sure if it switched lenses because it has some issues with uh, lens switching sometimes but yeah it's a bit of noisy there the shot i think the mate 50 pro looked a bit better and here again a 10 time shot with the video because if i zoom in from the one time lens then it is not utilizing the three and a half times lens it looks sharper when i go to the 10 times lens instead and start the video as you can see here it's very comparable to the mate 50 pro i would say but i think the mate still has a little bit better details here what do you think Let's take a look at the photos on the left, always the Mate 50 Pro, on the right, always the Vivo X90 Pro Plus. We start off with the 50 megapixel high res shot. We can clearly see here when I zoom in that the Vivo X90 Pro Plus with its main sensor is doing a better job. Less noise, less artificial uh, editing of the photo. It's AI mode on the Mate 50 Pro, so it's doing some editing. You can see some noise creeping in because, yeah, if you go without AI, you can clearly see there's a lot, a lot of noise, a lot of color noise and so on, less sharpened up. So it's doing everything in post with the AI mode that improves a lot, but the Vivo X90 Pro Plus is definitely the winner here in this high res shot. When it comes to three and a half times zoom, both feature a 64 megapixel main um, telephoto camera and yeah, both are doing a good job at three and a half times zoom, I would say. A bit brighter exposure on the Mate 50 Pro overall, the Vivo X90 Pro Plus a lot, lot more uh, contrast added and in this shot I think it's doing a better job. It is sharper. The, the Mate 50 Pro fails a bit with the sharpness sometimes, uh, especially on moving objects like this one here. But when I go to 10 times zoom, what we can see here clearly is both utilizing the same sensor is that in terms of detail again or darker look of the Vivo X90 Pro more brightened up but detail level is the same not much of a difference as you can see here. When it comes to the ultra wide angle we can see a color difference much bluer kind of colors on the Vivo X90 Pro Plus a bit darker again more contrast added on the Mate 50 Pro a bit more greenish yellowish kind of colors I think the colors are a bit more right on the Mate 50 Pro even though it was the sky was not so gray here it was a bit of tiny bit of blue in here it was not as blue as it's shown here on the Mate on the Vivo X90 Pro Plus when we go to the far edges we can clearly see we have like a difference in um, angle of view 30 millimeters on the Mate 50 Pro, 14 on the Vivo X90 Pro Plus, darker exposure, less details as well, a bit over sharpened on the Mate 50 Pro, but the 13 megapixels just give you more details here. See this dude with, uh, sitting there with its mask, you cannot see it here on the Vivo X90 Pro Plus, at least it's not as sharp and vis clearly visible. So the ultra wide angle clearly is a win for the Mate 50 Pro. When it comes to the macro shots, they both utilizing those ultra wide wrinkle, uh, ultra wide angle shots, and it is interesting because we have a better exposure on the Mate 50 Pro again, a bit too bright this time on the X90 Pro Plus. And when you take a look at the details, again, we have a bit more detail levels on the Mate 50 Pro. We can see a little bit more of the details there uh, on the Mate 50 Pro. And of course, we can get a bit closer with its 30 millimeters than the Vivo X90 Pro Plus win for the macro uh, capability on the Mate 50 Pro. Main sensor, definitely a win for the Vivo X90 Pro Plus, is it? Yes, it is. Look at the sharpness here. A lot of heavily sharpening and over sharpening on the Mate 50 Pro. A bit, yeah, also sharpening definitely on the Vivo X90 Pro Plus, but not as intense. And the clarity, especially here, is much, much better. Just look at the bridge there and in the background. Even though the color, the yellowish kind of color, I like a bit more on the 50 Pro, the color is more towards the blue here on the Vivo X90 Pro Plus, though it's a bit too punchy in my uh, case. But what you can do on the Vivo X90 Pro Plus, you can go to the size color mode and then it has more pleasant 
different colors, the right colors. You can see it's still a bit more blue, but not as intense blue as this color here. So less intense blue, and this is the right color. This is the far most realistic color ever. And you can see also that the green here corrected itself from the previous photo where we have a bit too punchy greens here. So yes, you can also do something with the Mate 50 Pro. It has the Xmatch, a bright and vivid mode, but forget about them. This is the bright mode. This is the vivid mode. Just simply forget about them. Just use the original mode and you come very close to what a Vivo X90 Pro Plus has with its size mode. A bit of more uh, yeah, contrast and a maybe slightly bit better uh, punch in the color on the a more punch in the color of the Mate 50 Pro. That's basically it. When it comes to selfies, very interesting because selfies, it's a completely disaster on the X90 Pro Plus for some reason. First of all, we have uh, overexposed sky, then we have a yellow face, we have like two green jacket and the Mate 50 Pro is doing everything right. The sky is right, the skin color is right, the jacket color is right, the sharpness is right, even though 13 millimeters, uh, 13 megapixels and uh, Vivo X90 Pro Plus has, um, yeah, the 32 megapixels, the sharpness is just simply amazing on the Mate 50 Pro. The Mate 50 Pro is definitely the selfie king in this case and wins against the Vivo X90 Pro Plus. When it comes to dimlet situation, I took a lot of photos during Christmas time under the Christmas tree with my family and so on, and I noticed some, yeah, under exposure on the Vivo X90 Pro Plus that you can clearly see as well. Also the detail levels is not as good as on the Mate 50 Pro. Here you can see it clearly on this little snowman where you have much more clarity. You can see much more little nitpicks in the woods, those little uh, unclean things there that are just smudged out on the Vivo X90 Pro Plus for some reason. So yes, the Mate 50 Pro is definitely doing some heavily post-processing, but it is just so much more information, so much more pleasant. Yes, you can see the T-Star coating here, uh, Zeiss T-Star coating on the Vivo X90 Pro Plus where we have like not this star kind of uh, overexposure on this little LED lamp, but uh, yeah, it doesn't really help when the rest is little not really clear and unsharp. So yes, look at the angel here, the wings of the angel smudged out, much more detail on this little angel wing. When it comes to Another low light shots, again, I think the Mate 50 Pro has a slight edge here in terms of colors especially. It's a bit towards the yellowish here, but it's still okay, I would say, in terms of white. And here we have a bit of vignetting on the Vivo X90 Pro Plus. It's going to the green, which is like, uh, not right at all. When you take a look at the detail levels, yeah, the one inch type sensor has a little bit less post-processing to do, and you can clearly see it here, the Mate 50 Pro struggles a bit against the Vivo X90 Pro Plus here with the text especially or especially also here where you can see heavily editing on the Mate 50 Pro. When it comes to super low light however, super dark conditions, the X90 Pro Plus is a bit more right than the Mate 50 Pro. Though on second glance when you take a look at it a little bit further you can see it's going towards a greenish kind of tint where of course the Mate 50 Pro has this kind of bluish magenta kind of wrong colors uh, probably due to the noise reduction, heavily noise reduction that's going on. But the Vivo X90 Pro Plus, it should be a bit warmer here. It's going towards greenish, which I don't like so much. But this color here is right, and this is completely wrong. As you can clearly see the Mate 50 Pro in this super, super low light. I couldn't see the tools in front of me taking the photo uh, is winning. When you take a look at this photo, I wanted to show you how the bokeh works. With a one inch type sensor, you could expect I get more bokeh if I get close to an object. That's true, but with the Mate 50 Pro, we have this variable aperture that has also an f1.4 mode. And we've taken this with the f1.4 mode, we see a bit more contrast on the Mate 50 Pro, a bit darkerish kind of exposure. But when you take a look at the bokeh levels and at the detail levels, you can clearly see, yeah, not much of a difference. I would even say that there is a bit bookalicious, more bookalicious on the Mate 50 Pro, at least on the same level, on par here with the Vivo X90 Pro Plus. Very, very interesting. In terms of details and levels, you can see heavily HDR on the Vivo X90 Pro Plus, that even this LED lamp <laughs> lost its lighting here. Uh, which is like, or it's light, uh, which is like very, very interesting. Uh, though, yeah, a little bit sharper here, you can see it as well. But uh, yeah, and overall, I would just say, uh, yeah, uh, on par. But now comes to the very interesting part and that blew me away on the Mate 50 Pro. The bokeh mode, the artificial bokeh mode, not natural bokeh mode is one thing, but a portrait mode, how does it look with F1.0.95? Uh, uh, this is simply amazing on the Mate 50 Pro. It's doing everything right. The aperture mode on Huawei Mate 50 Pro is blew me away in this photo. It looks like taken from a DSLM. 
Look at what the Vivo X90 Pro with the same virtual aperture of f0.95 did. The reflection is not really in focus, it's not really this bookalicious as here. The stars here, not really bookalicious, bookalicious on the Mate 50 Pro. The Mate 50 Pro looks like a really, really cool shot. The cutouts far better on the Mate 50 Pro. Look at the top here, far better. Even this little, it, I'm, I'm blown away. I'm blown away by the Mate 50 Pro's shot of this year. Aperture mode, definitely Mate 50 Pro. Let's take a look at portrait shots. Portrait shots is a mixed bag because they're in this dim lit situation, but I wanted to take it realistically because I have so many photos of my family there. I'm a bit disappointed because like, uh, let's say six out of 10 photos with the Vivo X90 Pro plus were not really usable, especially in portrait mode when I was taking them uh, during Christmas. The Mate 50 Pro much, much better. It has like eight out of 10 that were usable. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's um, way, way better. And we can see it here with two times zoom. It's utilizing, I think, not the two times zoom lens on both because the Mate 50 Pro doesn't have one, but the Vivo X90 uh, Pro Plus looks like this in terms of sharpness and the Mate 50 Pro like this. This gives the win already to the Mate 50 Pro if it wouldn't have this unrealistic colors because here the Vivo X90 Pro Plus is much more realistic even though I would say it is maybe a bit too brightened up but yes my shirt was black and was not blue and yes my couch is not this kind of bluish uh, violet it is more this greenish kind of gray. So yes, point for the Vivo X90 Pro Plus. But when we zoom in further, three and a half times, it's not utilizing, a uh, this time it's utilizing the three and a half times zoom lens on the Vivo X90 Pro Plus. You can see it's not consistent. Uh, oops, it's not consistent. It is from this black, it's going to this blue, even more blue than the Mate 50 Pro and even too bright and even completely out of focus, completely not sharp. The Mate 50 Pro three and a half times, much, much better, much, much better, even though heavily edited as well much much better and when i go to the without portrait shot so a normal shot with the three and a half times zoom lens again overexposure bit too pale on the vivo x90 pro plus i think a bit too blue this shirt uh, though maybe not as blue as here is it uh, it's getting a bit darker there um, too blue on the Mate 50 Pro for sure. The detail level looks a bit scary because it was really editing the stuff here, but still more details on the Mate 50 Pro than on the Vivo X90 Pro Plus. Uh, so portrait shots, especially in this low light situations, definitely go to the Mate 50 Pro. I like them more. The Vivo X90 Pro Plus is not only unsharp, it's just simply lacking details and uh, this weird color not consistency, it's just like ruining it for me. In the daylight it's completely different, but uh, this is another thing probably. But I wanted to take it here because I have lots and lots of shots there. I don't have any daylight shots to, to, to compare here. But overall, when it comes to the who is the winner here, I have to give it to the Mate 50 Pro. It is more consistent with the portrait shots, getting good shots out of there, has the better ultra wide angle, has the better uh, macro mode. In video, less bugs. Uh, Vivo X90 Pro, Pla uh, Pro Plus has still some zoom issue bugs. But definitely the main camera on the Vivo X90 Pro Plus, the main sensor is way better than the Mate 50 Pros. Mate 50 Pro has heavily sharpening going on. Vivo X90 Pro Plus with its HDR is sometimes overdoing it, but then also has some very nice shots. The Mate 50 Pro is simply amazing with its aperture mode where the Vivo X90 Pro Plus fails. And also the portrait mode is not the best. So Overall, yes, the Vivo X90 Pro Plus has the better main camera sensor and definitely with updates they can compete with Mate 50 Pro and they're much closer together than it was with the Vivo X90 Pro Plus against the Xiaomi 12S Ultra. Though the slight win goes to the Mate 50 Pro because the overall camera package is just simply better than the Vivo X90 Pro Plus for now. Let's see how this change in the, uh, changes in the future. That's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Write down some comments, some opinions. If you have a completely different opinion, if you want me to check out something else, write it down in the comments. That's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.